Well, hello there. I had to do some minor backtracking, but it was minor. I got myself a phone, and it takes... It's probably not the greatest phone, it's just a Galaxy uh, S5 Neo. But it's my first phone, and it was cheap. But uh, it takes better pictures than my eyesight, so... Uh, <laughs> That's kind of a thing. Okay, let's get some treasure. I know you're here somewhere. There you are. These guys are the worst, because of Life Shaver. One of the reasons to take a guy is to uh, make him undead. Um, but I'm not using an undead rage. But if you're undead, then Life Shaver will heal you instead. Although, from my memory, for some reason, Life Shaver always seems to have a random chance to heal. But, eh. Maybe it depends on who has the, l the lower HP. So just in case I made a uh backup save in another file. Snare is exceptionally useful here because of just how durable these guys are. Uh, I mean, you could use a bunch of uh, Phoenix Downs, but uh, look, this is just easier. Unless it misses. These guys are also very durable, and Cave-In and Snare both are great moves. Especially when they hit different targets. If I recall, there is a treasure in this little loop-de-doo. Yeah, they tease you by giving you the Assassin Dagger at the start of this place, which just brings everybody here back to full life. Heh. <laughs> but I have instant death that doesn't uh, depend on Undeadery. Ah, well that's a full heal. Oh yeah, I was... I forgot to check if uh, Wind Slash is affected by... Uh, attack or magic, but if it's only doing 200 in the back row, then it's probably affected by physical. Huh, I was pretty sure there's an item in there.
Okay, so 380. Get rid of this Gygus glove. Let's just give you the Mithril glove as a placeholder. Alexire. Yeah, I'll get that later. So 380-ish. Uh, that still seems 380-ish. I mean, the Gygus glove is what, 50% uh, boost? So hitting for only 20 less just seems like coincidental math. Let's try the Hyper Wrist. No discernible increase. Oh, my phone beat. I don't even know what my phone number is. I should probably look it up. Yeah, he's dead. And he's dead. One floor hole for another. Yeah, it's probably just a, an email saying I got yet another copyright strike on the YouTube from an automated uh, bot that uh, from a publishing house that doesn't exist. Yeah, a fictional publishing house uh, put a copyright... Uh, or not a copyright strike, but a content ID match on a video I uploaded from a video game called Thunderwolves. Uh, now, I don't know if the developer of Thunderwolves stole the music. That's not my place. They probably made it themselves. But uh, here's the thing. The copyright strike uh, was against... Uh, a video that had zero views and it only got its first view because I had to check it out to make to, to remove the song uh, not that anybody watches my channel anyway but yeah it had zero views so to copyright strike something with zero views means that even if they were a even as a even as a bot I didn't get any views so how could they have possibly made the strike? I mean, it's... I know it's all automated on YouTube's end, but, uh... Like, seriously. Oh, and uh, not only that, the copyright song in question is some... 
uh, weird drum and bass mix from some place that I, some artist I never even heard of. And, uh, um, the actual part of the song, or the video, rather, that supposedly has this, uh, copyright, uh, content ID match on it, there isn't any actual music playing at the time, it's just in-game gunfire. So, lulz. And it doesn't even matter anyway, because I can't get my account monetized, because... Dirkery with uh, AdSense. So, uh, basically an ad revenue holder is getting ad revenue on a video that has no views, and it... Uh, from somebody who can't get ad revenue in the first place. And besides, I don't even care about ad revenue, I just monetize because everybody monetizes. Uh, it's like, uh, like I'm a big supporter of ad block and everybody should have ad block. Well, technically speaking, everybody should have no script. Ad block is just a side effect. I don't think uh, Terra has enough uh, HPs to capitalize on the Atma weapon yet. So I uh, primed a one of my, well, two of my uh, space marines. Uh, I'm this is the first time I'm using spray primer, and uh, it didn't go over very well. Uh, so I, but everyone on the forum says that, like I use primer for actual priming to protect against uh, water damage, but uh, apparently everybody just uses it for paint adherence. Which is not something I'm overly concerned with, because, uh... I don't touch my models, ever. Uh, plus, uh... I, uh, put a very, very, very secure... Uh... Uh, base coat on, because I... Basically, I overbrush my, uh, base. So that's not coming off, ever. I don't need to worry about uh, stage one paint adherence. Oh, and not only that, okay, back to the content ID thing. Uh, I wasn't, I didn't care because it has zero views. That means it's gonna continue to have zero views. It's not like the ad holder is gonna give me views even though they content ID'd it. Because, you know, why should they care? But, uh, here's the thing, is the same video got content ID matched again for the same song in a different place after I removed the, uh, uh, infringing audio. So it was like, I've had a song marked multiple times before, but not, uh, had it done in two separate instances for the same video. That tells me that the song in question didn't exist until I removed the previous one. Ugh. Let's see what my phone is up to, because this scene's gonna take a while. Oh, it's just... Oh, that is convenient. 
It just means... Because I never check my email. Because who cares? It's just garbage. Uh, I don't know anybody. But uh, yeah, apparently a game on my Steam wishlist is on sale. So, yeah. Oh no, Kefka's on my Steam wishlist. And he doesn't look very salable. You know, I never really thought that this was some master plan to, uh, you know, have Terra be, like, an unwitting pawn in the Emperor's plan, because too much weirdness coincidentally happened over the course of the entire game. Uh, so I'm more thinking that's just Kefka making stuff up to be a dick. Which is more fitting for his character than, you know, actually going along with some weird plan. Esper power! Ah, uh, Gaou looks a little, uh, off the bridge there. There, now to never use you again. Oh, wait, yeah. Mandatory usage during the Fungaba fight. Supposed to be a skull, but not really. Pro tip bring a teleport stone. Secondary pro tip unequip Terra. Oh, wait, never mind. Unequip everybody but Terra. Uh, extra, extra, extra pro tip. Put sprint shoes on someone. Somebody set up us the bomb. Oh no! We're on the airship again! This is not very dramatic without any sound effects. Yeah, <laughs> lost control of the Sphinx. Now this scene will probably go in disturbingly slow motion and be very unimpressive. Okay, you're in an airship that is a dirigible. Uh, if you know you're gonna crash because either the balloon's deflating or you lost rotor control or something, is it better to go into a high-speed dive um, to try to get 
as little, to try to convert as much vertical momentum into forward momentum? Or is it better to just, like, descend crash? Like, just, just drop the ship uh, slower while you're still moving slowly? I don't know, because I... Who uses a dirigible anymore? Okay, all of you guys, get out of here. I'm gonna form a new party. The Royal Ownage Party. It's gonna consist of you, and you, because I have to take you, and you, because you're awesome, and not you, because... Cyan will waste way too much time if he's going to be using Wind Slash. I can't gamble, so I'm going to take... Um... Actually, I think Gao might actually be the best choice, because I think the enemies can be instant deft. Okay. Uh... I'll just put on some random espers that I don't care. Optimize. M maximize that magic damage. He doesn't need the hero ring. A pair of earrings would probably do better. Where are the earrings at? Huh. Oh, I do have access to a pair of earrings. Okay. Uh, optimize. She doesn't need to do anything, so... She can afford the sprint shoes. And just for fun, Zephyr Cloak. Uh, this guy is going to have the Hawkeye, so uh, I don't have two Hawkeyes. So I'm going to go for pure power. And since he's going to be using Mu mostly, uh, White Cape for stats and Hero Ring for punching. There, that seems like a good generic party that I just made up. I'm gonna keep going, because why not? Check on Vector! Wait. What was that? Go check on Vector. He should be nearby. What? Go check on Vector. He should be nearby. Yep. No, I was not taking a screenshot via the phone. It's just a weird gimpage that this game... Oh, now it works. Oh, uh, the overlay was not working for the longest time, and now it works. So now I just am the dumbs. Now, I'm gonna need a backup save, because this has to go perfectly. Alright, there's a few things I need to pick up. Uh, probably none of those. Um... Oh, I guess I got everything. Um... Everything's on fire, which is just great. Um... Oopsies, I was supposed to fight Guardian. I don't think he's a BCR entry, though. I'm actually, um... Okay, I've been painting... Like, I've painted before. A long, long time ago. But, uh... I've only just gotten back into... Uh, Warhammer. And, um... I'm trying... Um... Like, I know the basics, like, base coat... Uh highlight, shade, and then second highlight.
because one's di one the first highlight is diffuse and the other one's specular. Uh, so basically, like you base in let's just say brown, you recess in black, you highlight in a lighter brown, and then you specular sp specular in like maybe yellow or white or pink and uh whatever uh leave ignore the color itself okay there's 24 soldiers but i'm looking at like these old games with uh that in mind such as the rivets on these panels um and i'm seeing those uh techniques even here Like the rivets, the base, the base metal panel is mostly beige-ish. All right, move, move, move. Tools, ship, flash, attack, done. I like that shade of orange on that armor. Um. Okay, the main panel is metallic gray. It looks slightly pinkish on my screen, but, uh, it's metallic gray. And, um, this is going to be exceptionally difficult with these weird controls. Fuck. Um, it's clearly recess shaded. Like, even here, you can see that, uh, the, uh, in between the cracks is a much darker brown, but, uh, right along the edge of the crack is lighter brown, which, this is all probably basic, just the basicest of color theory that anybody probably learned in any old art school or common sense. But I'm, it's just, uh, it's resonating just because I'm seeing it in application. <laughs> Poo on piece. That's, that's funny. Bye bye. Okay, I'm making okay time, not the best. Come on, move. Three left. Got lots of time. There we go. Got all the soul gems. I'll just take a break. Well, let's flush like a meteor. Hey, bro. Uh, Kefka doesn't flush. Kefka didn't flush. Okay. This way, please. 
lobster. I've never had lobster, and I find the actual animal kind of cute. Not the cutest, but kind of cute. You know, little, little pinchy claws and their little antennas, and they go woo 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 woo. But uh, um, so I don't want to eat it, but I've never had it before, so it might be delicious. Um, I don't want to screw this up because of the controls and the poor contrast on the selection menus. That's why I have a backup save. So if I screw up, I'll just, you know, do it again. Yeah, <laughs> derp. I don't... I'm unsure the new translation lines. Yeah, I never got the whole world conquest thing, because, uh... You, you control a world, but then what? I mean, it's like, what are you gonna do? Have a, have a puppet show with, uh, all the people? That'd still be fun, kinda. Um, hm. I hope those didn't get shuffled. Yes, yeah, so let's take a short break. I have to take a break in order to beat up one of your men. You won't survive. You're about to go down the hole. No, maybe not. Lush. Just as we thought. Yes, we're good here. Is there anything you want to uh, that the war is truly over? Actually, he already conquered the world. There's nowhere else. So the war is kind of war with who? Who's left? Wow, I never thought of that. Apparently, I've never said no to that question, but apparently saying no to that question has different consequences than merely losing some bonus items. Items. Decorum. Cool. Nice. Best. Special bonus. Perfect bonus! Hey, you just walked right through Edgar. Move, please. Okay. 
Requip. Some relics. I'm gonna put that, uh, where is it? Ward bangle on because I'm not hunting for encounters right now. I just want to get to uh, Allbrook without incident. Incident! Does the Hawkeye special rule not work in this version? Okay, I'm here. But before I quit, I'm just going to take a little detour to the Imperial Fortress outpost thinger and get them items. Oh! These guys' faces are actually faces. For some reason, I thought the bottom of their hat their little hoodie. I thought the bottom of their hoodie was like an eye visor. Okay, so that's definitely an improved graphic. Not like Dataluma, who looks like somebody sat on his face. And I don't mean in a sexy way. Okay. Items! Items! More items! Best items! Excellent items! Burp items! Alrighty. I'm pretty sure there's not other hidden items in here. Luckily, you only need 80% of the treasures. But this, this game, unlike Fiverr, which has items in the stupidest places, and 4, which has stupid dungeon design, well, except for the first dungeons, this game is very straightforward, and it actually benefits from the straightforward design. Like, it's weird. You make the game so linear, and it doesn't feel linear, because it's engaging or something. I don't know. Somebody else probably has opinion that makes more senses. Heh, <laughs> senses. Well, I don't want to open, I don't want to have a cold open of a long-ass cutscene, so I'm just going to finish, I'm just going to uh, land on Thamasaw before I quit. Hey, General. Interceptor is the best character. Everybody should have a little puppy companion. Uh, I think Interceptor is probably cuter than Angelo, actually. Angelo's kind of just a... Well, a derp, actually. I prefer the old line better, because it's more snarky. But I don't know if Shadow's supposed to be snarky, or if he's supposed to be... Like, that line is more serious, but the old line's more snarky, so... Depends on how you want his personality to be, de defines whether... which line's better. Old subtext is about to become new context. <laughs> you see, she didn't say whether she was a spy or not. 
So she was actually more mad that she wasn't trusted for a second than if she actually did anything. What? Huh? Well, okay then. I mean, I know I was going to kill you, but I'm just so mad that you didn't believe me. Yeah, all right, let's go. Let's see, I have to make plans on killing Integer. Well, I know it's Intanger, but I can call him Integer if I want. Oh, ni ni nice help there, uh, Mog. Spoilers, Terra. Most people don't know what love feels like. At all. Human or otherwise. Until way later. But I want my muffin crushed now. Heh. Yeah. Who's that? I thought I'd sleep outside. I was getting red eye inside. You know, um, with his slightly different uh, overworld sprite design, they could have made Shadow like the last surviving dwarf, because that is a franchise staple, which basically died with this game. Um, I don't think they ever made a comeback. Um, so yeah. Even then, they were only a briefest cameo in five. Feeling a little seasick? Okay. Now I know Shadow won't flee, so I can give him some good items this time. Um. That'll actually be helpful here. Alrighty. Alright. Oh, see ya in, like, eh, 